Hi guys, my name is Gina James Cole and today we're going to make some Minecraft mobs in The Sims Mobile. Now this was inspired by an LD Shadow Lady video where she made some Minecraft mobs in The Sims 4. Now The Sims 4, of course, you know, you can get so much cool stuff, more than you can for The Sims Mobile. So I tried my best with what we have and let's go through. I made four different mobs. The first one that I made was Zulu Zombie. So of course for the zombie she had to be green. I did these all as females by the way. She had to be green and kind of quite square looking so I wanted to make her face quite square. Pull the ears in so the ears weren't sticking out at all because the zombies don't have ears. So I kind of wanted to bring her nose quite flat in and of course she needed some green hair. And I kind of like this style on her so I went for that and then for her body, I wanted a kind of square, like not for her to have a waist, kind of just like square, like quite up and down. The clothes, to be honest, was quite simple, I figured, because I thought that this top went really quite well, and obviously the jeans, it's kind of similar to how a zombie looks, I think. I figured I should go in and like take her earrings off last minute, so I did that and just readjusted her body a little bit, and I think that that is a pretty good Minecraft zombie. What do you reckon? The next mob we made was the witch. We made Wendy Witch, and we obviously got away with that green skin. We needed some pale skin, and I at first went with this purple kind of hair, and I, you'll see that I changed my mind in the end. But I tried to find a hat, and oh my goodness, there's like if there was a witch's hat in The Sims Mobile, that would've been awesome, but there wasn't, so we couldn't stick a witch's hat on her. Of course we had to give her that pointy big witch's nose, which so I stuck it out loads. And then for clothes, I struggled a little bit with the witch. I initially went with this top and pant combo with the colours of what the witch wears. And then I figured, no, I don't really like that. I need to change it around. So I found this dress that I figured was kind of good. So I went with that. And I changed the hair, changed the hair as well because I didn't like the hair because I thought that I would give a black hair that looks like the witch's hat, maybe? Here's Wendy Witch anyway in The Sims Mobile. The next mob was Carly Creeper. We went with the Creeper. And for the Creeper, the Creeper is kind of a sort of square but long looking. So I made the face quite square, pulled all the features in. Of course she has to have some uh, green skin and green lips and green hair of course and quite big eyes as well like black uh, black eyes, black makeup and these clothes, this skirt that I got I thought was perfect for a creeper so I put that on her with a green top and just pulled everything in to kind of make her quite long and thin gave her some green hair I think Carly Creeper is pretty cool what do you reckon? Let me know down in the comments. The final mob that I made was Susie Skeleton. So, of course, she had to have some very white skin. And we dragged everything on on this. Very long, very thin. Of course, she's a skeleton. Everything has to be thin. We gave her some white hair and this little white top and skirt. And as you can see, I really did drag everything in. She's so, so skinny there. But she's a skeleton. She's kind of got to be. And there you go, there are my four mobs that I made in The Sims Mobile. Obviously I'm limited with what is available within the game for me, but I had some real fun doing this. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these types of videos. Please do leave a like on this video. Give me a comment down below what you think of my <laughs> attempt of making these Minecraft mobs. Be kind though, because you know, there's not much variety, there's not much stuff in The Sims Mobile at the moment to play with. But I will see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!